Hey, how's it going? Um, I got a 2009 Chevy Tahoe right here, and um, I'm just going to show you how to reset the oil life monitor. Basically, if you look here, it's saying change engine oil soon. The way to do this, this is on a 2009, some of these older uh, Chevys and some of the newer ones. If you have this type of display on, the, uh, on your vehicle somewhere, it's going to be on this side of the dash, or it's going to be somewhere over here on this side of the dash. Um, <clears throat> but basically you're going to go here, you're going to check on this I car. this is the car information. You're going to hit, uh, tap that button until you see the oil life, it says 4% remaining. Then you're going to hit, hold down the check button, which is the reset button, until it goes to 100%. And that's all you got to do. And this right here just toggles through your, um, through your tire pressure and your oil life through your different gauges. All right, that's how you do it. That's how you reset the oil life monitor um, on a Chevy, on uh, older model Chevys. This is for most like Chevy Equinoxes, Chevy Silverados, Tahoes, Colorados. It's all the same thing. Basically, if you have this type of uh, setup right here, that's how you're gonna set it. You just hit this uh, car information button and then hit the check button, hold down the check button to reset it. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> all right, back at you again. Um, this is a 2011 uh, Chevy Camaro. I'm going to show you how to reset the oil life monitor on this type of vehicle. Um, <clears throat> just just some routine maintenance on this vehicle right here, a little oil change. Now, um, this is a 2011 Camaro. A lot of other model uh, Chevys um, and GM uh, vehicles have this type of um, uh, vehicle setup right here. Now, if you hit, this is the uh, for your turn signals right here. This is your turn signal switch. Um, if you got a menu button right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press that menu button until vehicle information comes up. <clears throat> Let me move this truck out of the way. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> you can hit the menu button until vehicle information. Then all you do is you turn the switch up and down, up or down. When you hit up, it's going to show you your battery voltage, coolant temperature, oil life. To reset the oil life, there's a button on the back of this switch right here. You're going to hold that, press that button. When you press that button, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to reset? Then you're going to toggle this switch up again where it says yes, you highlight it. Then you're going to hit this button again on the back. When you hit that button on the back, it's going to set it to 100% tire pressure if you wanted to relearn the tire pressure monitoring system uh, you would also hold this button right here press that button and it's gonna ask you if you want to uh, relearn the TPMS's you gotta hold that button down for a while but anyway that's how you um, that's how you reset the oil life monitor. All right, this is a 2000 Chevy uh, Silverado. We have the service engine uh, soon light. In order to get rid of this light <clears throat> on older model Chevys, uh, what you're gonna do is uh, turn the key to the on position, which is two clicks, one, two. <clears throat> that way you engage the battery, all your lights come on. And what you're gonna do is uh, step on the gas pedal three times, real slow. So just push it down one, two, three, and light should go off. Uh, where that battery was, it did say uh, service engine. Now there's just a battery light. All right, well, we're gonna bring it back up. <clears throat> and service engine light is off. So on older model Chevys, Colorado, Silverados, all you got to do is uh, turn the key to the on position and uh, step on the gas pedal three times real slow and that'll get rid of your uh, service engine light or change oil light indicator. Right, this is a Chevy Sonic 2013. <clears throat> Brand new. If you want to know how to reset the uh, oil life monitor in this bad boy, it's just like the other, uh, most other Chevys right here with that menu button on the uh, turn signal switch, all you're going to do is press that menu button until right here this oil life indicator pump, uh, comes up right now you got 55% what you're gonna do 
is you're gonna hold this outside button down. You press that outside button, just hold it down. And it should change to 100%. Now you got 100% right there. That's all you gotta do. And if you wanna toggle it up and down, just put this right here, you got these up and down switches. And you know, you can do the tire learn, uh, tire TPMS, which is your tire pressure monitor system. You can relearn stuff like that. That's all you gotta do is hit this menu button until you get to your oil life. That's how you do it. That's how it's done. All right, this is a uh, 2007 Chevy HHR. Now, say if you have one like this right here where the oil life uh, needs to be reset, same thing, you're just gonna step on the gas pedal three times. If you have the information button right here, you step on the gas pedal three times and you can toggle through right here and you should have 100% oil life. So if you have a Chevy HHR or any kind of older model Chevy, uh, this is a 2007 and it has the information button right here on the steering wheel. <clears throat> All you wanna do is the same thing for most older Chevy, step on the gas pedal three times. That's how you do that. All right, this is a 2013 Chevy Equinox. On all, all these uh, newer Chevys, uh, Equinoxes, Cruises, um, <clears throat> you're, in order to reset the uh, oil life, uh, a lot of times you're gonna look over here and see if they got a menu button on this multifunction switch on your turn signal switch. Uh, if it's not there, if you don't have an iCar <clears throat> um, panel on either side of the dash, then look for <clears throat> this menu button right here in the middle right here and what you're going to do is you'll hit menu and whenever you hit menu it's going to change the screen right here to uh, your oil life and all you got to do then once you see you got 22 percent all you'll do is hold down set clear <clears throat> once you press it just hit hit uh, the up or down button it'll move that to yes or no are you sure you want to reset it yes hit set clear and should you go to 100 percent there you go and that's how you do that hey this is just kind of wrap things up um, <clears throat> on older GM, older GMs, uh, older Chevys, uh, the most common method to reset the oil life monitor um, is to step on the gas pedal three times slowly. This is going to initiate the uh, clear flood mode. Uh, basically, this just resets the oil life indicator <clears throat> or the change oil uh, reminder light. Um, and on newer models, like I said uh, in the previous videos, <clears throat> just look on the left or the right um, of the instrument cluster and see if it has the car information panel those four buttons with the um, car information button um, the check light <clears throat> uh, the check button and stuff like that those are going to be your toggle your toggle and reset buttons um, <clears throat> also look for maybe a menu button in the middle uh, if you don't have that type of uh, instrument cluster set up look for the menu button on the middle um, <clears throat> or look on the uh, the uh, turn signal switch see if you have the menu button there on the turn signal switch so basically you're just gonna be looking for um, a menu button look for the menu button um, and on Corvettes it's, uh, it's real easy just on the right side of the instrument cluster there's gonna be a trip and a reset button just keep hitting the trip button until the um, oil oil life comes up and then hold reset and that's how you do it for Corvettes um, <clears throat> so I hope you learned something thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe all right, peace.